Good morning, Saturday, February 22nd, 2020. The Lord says to Simon Peter, I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. At once you have turned back, strengthened your brother. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, I exhort the presbyters among you as a fellow presbyter and witness of the suffering of the Christ and the one who had shared in the glory to be revealed. Tend the flock of God in your midst, overseeing not by constraint, but willingly, as God will have it, not for shameful profit, but eagerly. Do not lord it over those assigned to you but be examples to the flock and when the chief shepherd is revealed you will receive the unfading crown of glory the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm 23 the lord is my shepherd there's nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In burdened pastures, He gives me repose. Beside restful waters, He leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. You are my side, at my side, with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the side of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for the years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. The gaze of the never world shall not prevail against it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 16, verse 13 to 19. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philip, he asked his disciples, who do the people say that the Son of Man is? They reply, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, you are the Christ. 
the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him and replies, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And, I, and so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, whether your pine on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning to all and Saturday of our Mother Mary. Before we continue to start the reflection, we are going to do the prayer of collect. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that not tempest may disturb us, for you had set us fast on the rock of the Apostle Peter, confession of faith through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Brothers, whew, today, today, you know, this Saturday is uh, we were going to have uh, Mary and the Son all the time. But we just make a big change in this channel, and now we have with us uh, Pope Francis, our 266th Pope. And uh, since since Jesus told the son of Jonah the words that he said on the on the Gospel of today. And today, we are we are celebrating. You know, Catholics celebrate whoo, so many beautiful things. Today is the feast of the chair chair of Saint Peter the Apostle. The feast of the chair of Saint Peter commemorates the teachings of authority of the Vicar of Christ. The Catechism teaches that. It is this magisterium tax to preserve God's peoples from deviation and affections and to guarantee them the objective possibility of processing the true faith without error, so that the people of God abides in the truth that liberates. The chair of St. Peter confirms that the universal church which in this world is shaken by various temptations that come upon it like torrents of rains, floods, and tempests, do not fail because it is founded upon the rock from which Peter received his name, for the rock was Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, 4. And on this foundation was Peter himself also built, St. Augustine. It is, it is you know, father uh, of, of, of our father and in, in, in a, in a very <coughs> a great theologians. There are some theologians out there these days that I just twist everything in a way that they need to go back and and to to listen to to, to the one before them is it's just being humble you can be humble too so today uh it's a it's a saturday of mama mary and today we are celebrating the chair of peter february 22nd there was a big fight back then before the in, uh, in century four, 
the, when they were trying to take away the power of the of Peter, uh, and and it was just to reaffirm. That's why the 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 church starts celebrating that feast as something that it won't be taken away. Recognize it by the whole church, the whole magistrate. So today, we'll we'll see something so completely different. It's like, oh my God, all these things, all this fighting, and all this to get to where we are. And now, in the scene of the Amazonian, it's like he just given away uh, to the one that knows in the Amazonians the problem. And, and listen. I'm not smart, but when you have a, a, a bishop on, on the region and it, and it says by his own words that he hasn't baptized an Indian for so long, th there is a problem in you. You are too comfortable. And, and that's why uh, I started a, a program that I, I'm going to do it in English as well. I know I'm not a theologian, but we want to bring that up here for us to know because you know we 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 only sometimes go to church and and come back we're gonna to go to work and everything but we don't so and i say by my own experience i don't know what was going on in, in the vatican city or <laughs> everything that was going on around in our church and now that i've been involved with this channel I'm like, now I got informed. I know I come here to do the readings every day, but at the same time, everything is going around. I can just come here to sit and just be joking or saying so many beautiful things and make you oh, very calm and everything and do not come here to say the truth. So I I'm gonna do the recommendation of the bishops of the synods on Amazonians and then the exhortation. I started yesterday on the Spanish side. Uh, maybe maybe you can go and, and click uh, the subtitles in English and you can do that if you want to start uh, going to look at that. Probably you can do it that way. I don't know if I can change it to do the subtitles in English. If I can do the subtitles in English, I will come back here and say it, and then you can just read the subtitles and just do it in, in the Spanish and with the subtitles. So, today, on the first reading of the Peter, we see a humble, humble Peter. You know, when Jesus came, he, he, he is God. He is the most high, over the top. But the, he came and show himself like that king. Not even that, before they killed him, he went into Jerusalem in, in top of a donkey. <laughs> and there's a lot of jokes with the donkey saying like, oh, people were sharing at me and everything. And, and, and then the mother of the donkey said, so who was in top of you? Don't you think it was sharing at him, not you? And this is the thing, even to go in inside Jerusalem, it was in, in, in the most humble, 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 humble human being. And in today's uh, first reading, we see how Peter is telling them, you know, presbyters, you, you know, we are not, I'm not higher than you, we are in the, like in the same level, but we have a responsibility. And the responsibility is this. The responsibility is we gotta attend the flock. You know, if some somebody goes in, in a different way, in a different mentality, and start thinking, so, you know, gotta bring it back and then just just explain to that person. But they say, don't do this because of money and try to be rich. Or don't be like dictators to them. Or don't feel like you're the Lord. What they do is a service. It's a service because Peter tells them, each one of them that when the Lord comes back and then they will receive the glory for eternity. 
eternally, for forever and ever. But he is given the recommendations because he knows human beings. He knows how people can just change in one second. I remember this uh, analogy about this this uh, guy that passed away, and uh, and uh, he always say that that he likes to drink, you know, on the weekends and uh, party and all that. And um, and they were saying that why were well, you you know your brother drinks so much drinks so much, and then he used to say, but they don't drink. As I drink because they're in college. Wait until they get their own jobs. They're gonna be drinking the, probably more than what I drink, <laughs> and, and that's what it is. Sometimes. Uh, we we act in a certain way and then we hit the lotto and we just became something a monster something different and that's what happened to each one of us that's what Peter says to, to all of them do not treat people like you, you know no it's a service and you gotta attend each one of them I love when I see lately the people calling to the priests in my church to ask for confession and he took them took them apart and confessed them I'm like he's doing the job he's doing the job you know and, and that is something that the that we need to to pray for, to pray our mother Mary to 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 touch each one of, of their heart because you know they're still they're still a man under and did all that rope and everything in it. and the temptations are there and in today's uh, gospel we see once again how our Lord is telling uh, the whole world that he give the keys of heaven to one person and, and the successor of Peter is right here. He, he has the keys right now. But even that, after he killed the keys, he said, not even the, the doors of the Netherlands will destroy it. So as soon as they give the keys to Peter, the devil already had the eyes on him and the whole church. Remember, Jesus was going to go soon, but he established his church here. Not that all, because new wine, new wine was going to be into the new wine skins. Remember what he said? If you put new wines in, all white skins will burst the white the, the white skins, and it will damage and ruin even the wine. So, in today's, if you're here, if we go back into the gospel, and I was just and I didn't say this on the Spanish part side. He, he says this so beautifully put that if we listen to it closely, he says, in the region of Caesarea Philip, he asked his, his disciple, who do the people say that the son of man? So I love it because in the question, he gives them the answer. In the question, he gives them the answer. And, and it's, like, it's like when you teach um, something to people that, that they don't know it. And sometimes I, I love doing this to my kids and sometimes I give them, I give them the question and I give them the answer on the question and to see if they're paying attention. 
And when the Peter was moved by the Father that revealed that to him, he was blessed at that moment. And I love when the, the entrance antiphon mentions, you are Peter. It says the entrance antiphon, the Lord says to Simon, I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. And at once you have returned, turn back, strength your brothers. So turn back from where? <laughs> Peter ran away <laughs> and he cried, he, he understood that, that all this that happens to him uh, was part of him being a human being. And it, it is normal to each one of us. That's when, when now we hear the entrance antiphon and, 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 and we see Peter, I mean, Francis today, our Pope, we need to we need to find out what is going on, what is going on in our church, what all they doing right now. And we gotta pray, pray, pray. If the Lord Himself, Jesus, pray for him. <laughs> that's 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 it. That's that's a cute right there. That's 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 a key. For each one of us, what should we do about the Pope? Let's pray. You know, and he can turn around. Because right right now, what he did on the Synod, leaving that door open, it's like, <laughs> uh, after Vatican II, he really left it open, and now we see this again. And they're gonna come after the church over and over and over again. And they're gonna be in that doing their new church, their new church. But the the church of Christ is already is already is already governed by the Holy Spirit. And if we see things that is going on that right now you'll be like Ouch, it's time to flee the sheep because it's sinking. No. Even if it, if, even the, it looks like the titan is going down, the Holy Spirit is governing the church. And, like I said in other places, sometimes we have what we deserve at these times because we have forgiven. Forget him about praying for our Pope. I me mean, personally, Pope, no, I just go to church, come back and all these years, but he came here to Philadelphia. I got a, somebody bring me a, I was there, a medallion or something. I have it here, but that, I didn't went there. And now that I'm, you know, doing the channel and getting to know my church, I was like, whoa. <laughs> And we had to change our ways and recognize that and pray for our Pope. Pray for our Pope. Today's, today is it, it, a confirmation that Christ only let one church. So all of you out there, they're doing whatever it is that you're doing. Look in history and you will go back to the Church of Christ. But you got to go to history. Not, oh, when Pentecost is, and that's when the church was, and some other people saying, no, in the year 300, with Constantine, blue, 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 blah, blah, boom. No. Listen, they be lying to you, plain and simple. They're lying because they twist everything. That's why they evil do. He's good at it. He's been doing it since Adam and Eve. And look where all we are. Right here. So, let's pass Adam and Eve. And let's realize that the evil is going to try to make a fall. The way 
I'll try avoiding that. It's like, let's just do, pray for him. All of us, the whole world. You know how many millions and millions of millions we are? If we do that, the one that governs, governs, is gonna go with him, and I'm gonna talk to him like he talked to Solomon when Solomon started doing all those things. Twice he went to him, and what happened after that? But our prayers are going to our Lord to tell our Lord. Please go and talk to him, please. To try to see, if, you know, get him a straight arrow. And continue doing the work you're supposed to be doing. Because the way it's going, it's like inventing a new church. And that's the evil doing his own things. We can help our mother has been telling us all around the world all the different prophecies our immaculate heart of Mary Fatima and Portugal to the kids <laughs> everywhere Guadalupe everywhere and what we've been doing our own ways, our own doings, and go to work, come back, and oh yes, on Sunday. Oh yeah, 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 we'll talk about God on Sunday. <laughs> and then you still want to go to heaven, doing the minimum. It's like, you want to have a house and everything, and you just work and do the minimum, and collect the minimum, but you want a lot of good things, and a lot of things. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Wake up. Wake up, New York. Wake up, New York. Brothers from Junkers, New York, Efraín Rodríguez Ortiz, inviting you to subscribe to the channel, to give us a like, and especially to share with you, family and friends. May the peace of the Lord, and in today's this beautiful day, let's continue praying for our Pope with the help of our mother. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen.